part of Alvin Schwartz's brilliance was that he took all these old folk legends and made them readable for kids. And I think that's his particular genius. That book was talked about on the playground. There's something a little off-putting, but that's why it's so fascinating. You had to sign up a couple weeks in advance if you wanted to get them. Everybody knew these stories. And it was always a subject of dares. Like, I dare you to check out the book. Parents and teachers in a Seattle suburb will vote next week on a plan to ban three books from an elementary school library. Those who want to get rid of the book say they're just too gruesome for young readers. There is a horse that is grotesque, it is misshapen, it is disproportionate, it has a human eye. Growing up, I never really saw the Scary Stories books in light of them being widely banned, I just saw them as stories that my grandfather collected. He was the number one banned book author and he just loved that. Children have a, a need to master the fears that they have in their life. So they kind of give readers a taste of the darker side of humanity. I always found it interesting that these books were challenged because we don't discourage students from reading Greek mythology or Robin Hood. I finally got the courage to check out the book myself. <laughs> Carrying it home in my in my backpack and feeling like it was burning up. Hi guys, here's today's daily fact. After terrifying audiences in 2017, Pennywise the Clown will soon return to the big screen. This time, haunting the Losers Club, who is nearly 30 years older and is portrayed by a stellar cast that includes James McAvoy and Jessica Chastain. Remember to click below to subscribe or on the side for more great content.